Hey everyone, and welcome to the next video of my Express tutorial series. We're here, I'm gonna teach you how to set and clear cookies with Express, and we're also gonna learn what a cookie is and why they are needed. So to begin, what is a cookie? Well, a cookie is a small piece of data stored on the client. And after a cookie is set on the client, it is sent alongside every request until it expires or gets cleared. So basically, every single route we have set up in here. So whether it be what do we have here? So we have our login route. This request will have a cookie on it. Um, our other routes, post route. This request will have a cookie on it. This request will have a cookie on it. It'll be, it'll come along with every single request after we set a cookie on the client. And so what is the purpose of a cookie? Well, cookies are used because HTTP is stateless, meaning that a server cannot tell if a request came from a client that has already made a request, or if it was a request from a new client. Cookies allow the server to identify a user or the request sender on a website. And this can be used for tons of different things, uh, keeping a user logged in, um, even after they leave the web page, uh, collecting user data, collecting um, like user preferences and stuff, and much more. And now let's just quickly talk about the structure of a cookie. So a cookie is a key value pair along with other attributes that specify things such as how long until the cookie expires, if the cookie is only valid to be sent over HTTPS, and many more, and a few more things. For example, um, let me give you a cookie structure right here. Make spaces in here. This is an example of a cookie. Specifically, we can see the key value pair. So we have that it expires, um, or we can see we have it key value pair of SID and one, two, three. We'll get more into this um, later. We can see we have an expiration here when this cookie would expire. We also have a attribute saying that this um, cookie is secure, meaning that it can only be sent over HTTPS. But this is really all cookies boil down to is just a kind of string like this with a key value pair that is used to get information or identify someone that is sending the request. And so how do cookies work? Well, cookies, what they usually do is store a session ID, abbreviated as ID, like this right here, and this session ID represents a user. And when the server receives a request, it can look up this session ID in a database and bring back all the information about the user. So if we went in, for example, say we get a request to this post route here, we could get the, um, the request ID off the cookie, like request.cookies.sid or something like this, and then we could just do like look up in our database, which could be our SQLize, and bring back all the information about this user. But so let's start handling cookies with Express. And to handle cookies with Express, what we first need to do is install a middleware called Cookie Parser. And so Cookie Parser is a middleware that parses cookies attached to the request object. And it is similar to the express.json middleware we're using, but for parsing cookies instead of request payloads. So basically similar to how express.json middleware parses a post request payload and places it inside the body of the request, this cookie parser middleware parses cookies attached to the request and places them inside request.cookies. So let me show you, it's in this create controllers dash users where we put it. See how we have rec.body. So the that's what the um, express.json middleware does, whereas the express.cookie middleware, or whatever it was that we installed, what that does is it tags on the cookies into request.cookies. But so as we have we've done previously, let's also register this cookie parser as global middleware. And now let's talk about setting a cookie on a client. So to set a cookie on a client, we use the response.cookie method. So what we're gonna do now is let's set a cookie on the client when they are added to the database, which I believe is inside users. This is where we actually add them to our um, database. So let's add um, something above this render method. So what we've done here is when this user um, logs in or signs up for this application, they first get put in the database and then we set a cookie on them where the cookie is called username or that's the key and the value is the username that the user entered. So now let's access this form. 
So I'm going to run our project. And let's fill out this form. So let's do wait code and then password. And then after we submit this form, we'll have a cookie set on our browser. So now we're in here and we've logged in and we've officially set a cookie. I'll show you how to check with the browser, but first let me show you it in here. And the way I'm going to show you it in here is remember how the cookie parser places cookies inside rec.cookies for every request. So let's log this in a route, in basically any route, and see what we get. So let's go into here and on our post route, let's log request.cookies. Um, let's also log it in here. And let's just access both these routes and let's see what we get. And right if we look in our console now, what we can see is the username wit code that we set and something else here. And this actually here, G ads is something about Google ads being shown, I believe from looking it up. So it has something to do. So I guess it's something that Google set. So just, I guess, ignore this one, but the one we set is username and cookie or username, and then the username that the user entered. And then let's go again. Now if we access dash most popular, if we look in here, once again, we get it logged out. So it logged it out on this route, and then it logged it out on that route as well. So we can see that what request.cookies is, is it's an object that contains all the cookies that we set. But now instead of just logging out the cookies, we can also check whether the cookie was successfully set on the client using the browser. So in our Google Chrome tab here, let's go into our application tab right here, clear out this from the console. And so this application tab here basically contains information on local storage, um, cookies, session storage um, for a certain web page. And the app so basically the application tab contains useful information on storage for a web page. But to see the cookie, what we want to do is, um, is over here in storage, we can see we have cookies right here, and then it will be separated by domain because cookies are per domain. And we look here and we can see our username and wit code. And so remember when I was talking about how cookies have more attributes, these are them here. So we have secure, meaning HTTPS, same site, same party, priority, size, um, expires on. So we can set all that stuff not just a username or just not a key or name and a value. So let's say we want to make it so the cookie we set in the client will only be sent along with the request on HTTPS. And if we want to do this with express, we can pass a third object or third parameter to the response.cookie method to further customize our cookie. So where we set it here, we can further customize this cookie by passing a third argument, which is an object, and then some customization options. And if we want it to be only sent over HTTPS, we pass secure, and then we set it to true. And now if we want to check this, let's create another user. So let's go back to our login route. And let's do James, and their password is pizza. Let's log them in. And now we get username and James. And if we look over here in secure, we can see that this is checked. And also, if you're wondering about this error right here, this is also seems to be something to do with ad block or blocking Google ads. So don't worry about that. That's nothing related to what we're doing. But what we can also see is the value of our cookie has been updated. So remember before it was wit code, but now we've changed it to James because we just set basically the same cookie that's username. So we set that and we just overwrote the value. And there are several other attributes we can add for cookies. And I actually have a video where I go over cookies and also each one of these here in depth. So if you want to check that out, um, I'll leave a link in the description. But now let's talk real quick about cookie expiration. So if we don't set the expiration or max age property on a cookie, which we would also do through this argument here, then the cookie will expire when the browser is closed. And we can see that in our tab by if we look at expires, and max age, we get session. Whereas this Google ads cookie that was set from Google seems to expire on 2023, so that won't close. But if we close this browser and open it again, we should see that this cookie is gone. So let's do that real quick.
And if we look back in here, we can see that the cookie we had on localhost 1234 with username is gone. But now let's actually talk about how we can remove the cookie from the client with Express. So instead of just having an expiration to do it, we can explicitly clear it with Express by using the response.clearCookie method and pass it the key of the cookie that we want to remove. So to do this, let's create a, um, a logout route in our application and then call that method there. So let's create a folder called logout and place an index file, index.js file in it with this following contents. So we can see what this does is when we get a, re a get request to dash logout, what will happen is we'll clear the username cookie and then we'll redirect the user to the login page. But remember, we can't forget to register this router object with our express application. So we need to place the following into our main index.js file. So what we do is we get our logout router. So we get that router that we created here, and then we register it as global middleware using, or as um, route level middleware by passing it to the dash logout route. And now let's also add a logout link so we can make a get request to this URL, so to dash logout, and we'll do that inside our profile.pug file. So now let's go in and let's access this page but first, let's create a user. So let's go to login. Let's do what code this time? Password of subscribe. Let's log in. And we can see this little logout thing now, which should send a get request to our logout route and clear the cookie. So we have username and what code. We'll click logout. We're back. We've been redirected to the login route, and we can see that the cookie is gone. So if we Leave the network tab didn't capture that stuff, but we can also see it in action. So let's do wit code cheese. We can see our post request to dash login. And then after we do this, let's click on log out. We can see the redirect. So 302, 300 meters of redirect, get request to dash log out, which redirected us here. And then if we look at our cookies, we can see once again that it's gone. And also real quick, if we look into um, actually on this post request here, so remember what we did in this post request, which one was it? Is we set the cookie. So on this create, which is a post route to, or post request to dash login, we call this users.createController, which in here is where we set the cookie. And specifically what res.cookie does, it sets the cookie using the HTTP header set cookie. And we can see what's set is username equal to Bruce, path is a default, which means basically a root path, and secure, which comes from this secure attribute here. And then if we go to any other page, so say we do a get request to, what are some other ones, posts. If we look at this, this get request, we should see the cookie inside the request. So we can see cookie inside here. Here's this Google Ads one, and then we have username Bruce that's also passed along. But so um, there we have it. Um, that's all I was gonna go over with cookies in this. In um, the next article, we're gonna be talking about sessions and how to implement them with Express. So cookies and sessions kind of work hand in hand, and we'll go in depth into that in the next video. But besides that, I wanna thank you for liking and subscribing. And um, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one.